his views on race and connect that to the Southern colonies during um, the 20th era. Um, uh, so again, the idea here is to sort of reinforce uh, the themes that uh, we've just gone over in the lecture. Um, and then I finish uh, with a learning assessment slide where I present them with a couple of key questions uh, that cover the major learning outcomes uh, for that particular set of content. Uh, so the goals here are to recap uh, the major learning objectives and uh, to give students time to reflect and absorb information. So then I lecture to them for 10 to 15 minutes. They uh, connected, uh, got some critical thinking to make connections to the material you lectured about, and then provide them with a few minutes to uh, think about uh, questions related to that material sort of process that information in a sort of. Um, and this is another uh, opportunity springboard uh, for student engagement. So you give the students a couple of minutes to write down the questions in their notes um, and write their answers down. They can talk about those answers with their neighbors or share those responses with uh, and all students or share those responses with the class. Um, and this also uh, sort of help scaffold learning objectives uh, for the class as a whole. Uh, so this sort of pattern where you have lecture outlines by a chance to uh, critically analyze something and then learning assessment slides is the basic pattern repeated throughout the 75 minute course. Uh, so over the course of the entire class period where they have these sort of key learning objectives that are scaffolded to build up towards um, Eventually, the questions that they have to write about uh, on their essay exams and things like that. Um, and uh, so this is helpful, too, for the students to provide them with a uh, sort of snapshot in their notes of uh, what they should be taking away from this part of the lecture. Um, so overall, I think this is uh, an effective method, right? So whether you're just presenting with the learning set and you back, show their lecture outline another chance to analyze a primary source and then one learning assessment question, right? Um, so this gives them a, a pattern, right? Uh, so it's sort of stability with the course that they feel like um, they know what's going on and what to expect. Um, but the, I think the learning assessments uh, are the most important part here because it really shows the students that they are learning something, right? So often if you're just lecturing for 75 minutes, students overwhelmed that uh, uh, they just have all this material from that they don't know what's really important and what's not important. So this sort of gives them a guide to what they should be taking away. Uh, it helps them realize through the course of answering these questions that they actually are learning things or they're to answer important questions uh, uh, more deeply than they could have when they walked into class that day. Um, so uh, in short, uh, just uh, to sort of uh, sum up, um, there's a lot of uh, advantages I see to uh, breaking the course up in this way. It presents them with material in smaller, more manageable chunks so that they can uh, process more easily, which uh, hopefully the goal there is to increase retention of the material. It gives them an opportunity to practice making connections, uh, critical thinking, and making connections to the material. Uh, that has been lectured about, and then finally gives them a chance to uh, process information before moving on to the material. Um, again, that's just a sort of uh, uh, overview of what I do in the class. 